Yes, thank you so much, Ilana. We're talking about finance, especially retirement. We are joined by our certified financial planner, Law Winter, from Fiscal Private Client Services, just to help us in terms of how we should, how should we be approaching the topic of retirement? What should we be thinking about right now whilst we are still working? Um, Laura, so um, we spoke about, you know, retirement, where that comes from, you know, the age, the fact that medical advances makes us live longer. We have a large period of time as to, you know, not doing anything and how to properly plan for that. But so, so, so let's say we, somebody in my position right right now, young, active, working professional, um, how should I be approaching the topic of retirement? So I think the, the first thing to say is um, this idea that we have a prolonged period of time in retirement where we do little other than perhaps play golf or go fishing is actually quite an unnatural concept. And Which right a, now sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <same. laughs> exactly. But because of that, because it's unnatural, it's actually not healthy for us. Yeah. So at Fiscal, we believe that Planning for your retirement should start before your retirement, not when you reach yes. retirement, preferably a few years before, and should initially actually not focus on the financial things. It should involve taking stock of where you are, what's important to you, how do you imagine your retirement, what does retirement look like for you in order for it to be meaningful. And I would also think, or I would also encourage someone to think about what are the non-financial benefits they get out of their job. And someone might say to me, well, the only reason I work is because of the salary I'm paid, which is an yeah. unfortunate situation. But I think we underestimate the benefits of things like a regular routine, regular mm. social interaction, intellectual stimulation. And it's mm. important to consider those and how you're going to build those into your life post-retirement so that retirement is meaningful. Yeah. And what about from a financial aspect? Yes, the, the non-financials is very important mm. to make sure that you kind of stay sane within your retirement period. Exactly. But I mean, from a financial point of view, how should we think about this, you know, so that we are able to support ourselves once we take that step and do retire? Because you need to support yourself for a, a good number of years still to come. You do. We have to support ourselves for a number of years and also take account of the fact that Although we're living longer, medical science is keeping us going for longer, we're also not necessarily aging healthily or more healthily. Yeah. So we've got to consider other costs that could come up as we get older. I think the first step is to really get a handle on what it costs you to live. And this might sound boring and a bit tedious, but literally for a few weeks, at least a month, keep a notebook in your pocket or use your cell phone and record everything you spend, including what you spend on credit, because ideally you don't want credit yeah. when you're in retirement. So that you really get an understanding of what it costs you to live. And then you need to think about what are those things that might come up in retirement? So will you need to replace your car? Do you need to maintain your home? Do you really want to go traveling? Yeah. We also encourage clients to build in a kitty for emergencies and unexpected expenses. And then, as I said, an allowance for increasing mm -hmm. costs as you get older. And then once you know what it's going to cost you, you need to understand what it is that you have. How much do you have? What vehicles it, is it invested in? Mm. Are there different tax and cost implications for accessing yeah. it? And a, an appropriately qualified person can guide you yeah. along those decisions and, and finding out all that information. Well, there's definitely a lot to think about. It's not just as simple as like, oh, I'm going to be retiring at 65. Exactly. Yes, we'll, we'll bring us some more advice a little bit later um, this morning. Right now, let us quickly find out what you can still expect on your feel-good breakfast show for this Wednesday.